Hey friends, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to teach you one of my favorite tricks ever for power carving. So a question I get all the time is, Matt, how in the world do I keep my carvings clean? Every time I carve, it just turns out kind of messy. Well, in this video, I am going to address that. I'm going to show you guys how to clean up the negative spaces. Now, this is such a huge topic and a lot of people overlook this. So if you guys take what I'm teaching you and apply it to all your wood carvings, I promise they are going to turn out 120% better. If you guys are new to power carving, that is completely all right. This video will still apply to you. Now be sure to check out howtowoodcarve.com. Go sign up. It's completely free. I have a lot of awesome content coming out. Now to demonstrate this, I will be using the Dremel Stylo. Obviously any flex shaft tool will work. I will have all these tools and products used in the video description below. So you may remember this carving right here from a different video. I will be using this right here as an example. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. We have this cool carving, but look right in the middle here. You see all that just nastiness right there? Well, this is in the negative space. This being positive, this being negative. And the negative space is one of the hardest parts to clean up. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use a combination of burrs and everything to go through there and smooth that out as, as smooth as we can. Now the burr you will need to use is the inverted cone head burr. This is so useful. And basically what we are going to do is be using this like a router, just going through here like this. Now for the burr, I am using a diamond burr, but there is also other types of the inverted conehead burrs. Like here's a Dura grid I use sometimes. But for this example, I'm just going to be using the diamond head. So whether you have the Dremel stylo or the Dremel flex shaft, they both work on the same principle. We're going to be using it like a router. So let's fire this up. So when you do this, you want to take this in sections. Just don't go crazy with it. Start in one area and go to the other. Okay, just go around the sides and just kind of overlap your work. Okay, now that is looking a lot better than before, but we are not finished yet. Okay, now after using that burr, we are going to use a riffler for the edges. This is optional. You do not have to do this. It just adds an extra step. This right here is like a file that is curved and you just want to go along the edges just like this and just lightly sand. This helps to get in places that sandpaper cannot. Okay, after I got the edges cleaned up with a riffler, I'm going to go to a piece of sandpaper. This right here is about a 120 grit. I'm just going to kind of fold this up right here and just start sanding. And this is the magic ingredient.
there we go. That's looking pretty good, but we want to take this up another notch. Let's go to a 220 grit right here. I'm just going to fold it up and start sanding. Oh yeah, already telling the difference. Okay, let's look at before and after. That is a world of difference. And that is how you get clean negative space. If you take this simple technique right here and apply it to all your wood carvings, I promise you're gonna get some great results. I really hope you enjoyed this video and do me a favor, leave me a comment below, hit the like button and the subscribe, all that stuff you know to do. And I will see you in the next video. Also, check out howtowoodcarve.com. Go sign up, completely free. I'll see you next time.